Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Amani Abu Zaid, who is Commissioner for Energy and Infrastructure and uh, Tourism and ICTs as well for the African Union. Uh, Dr. Abu Zaid, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Thank you. Pleased to be with you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about smart digital development. What does it mean to you? Uh, uh, well, uh, smart digital development, it used to be, I would say, it used to be uh, uh, adopting new technologies, uh, implementing new technologies, but uh, uh, as you may have uh, heard in some of the sessions uh, here in World Telecom, these worlds are becoming almost obsolete. Why? Because it is now the present, it is the way of life, and uh, it's no longer, uh, our life is be becoming uh, a smart, uh, a smart life altogether. So uh, in a nutshell, yes, it's adoption of technologies. Yes, it's the implementation. However, uh, as I said, it's becoming the norm. And uh, I must say, Africa particularly is exceptionally positioned uh, in that sense. And the, the innovations that we see everywhere in Africa, the implementation and the rolling out of fantastic uh, programs um, uh, in various sectors uh, using these new technologies is uh, um, very encouraging and uh, positions the, the continent very high in the world. Some of them, of course, are the pure invention of the continent, like, uh, like the mobile money, for instance, and the applications that we are seeing in, in our countries, uh, amazing. Also for our development path uh, uh, in the continent, our countries are no longer following the traditional path, no longer following you know, the development uh, 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 trajectory that was used by, uh, by us since, since the 18th century. We are creating for ourselves, we are forging and inventing for ourselves uh, a, a new trajectory path, and this trajectory path definitely goes uh, uh, through uh, and by uh, the use and implementation of these technologies. Let's focus on innovation. What innovation do you think is going to be the most transformative in the, the fourth industrial revolution? Uh, it, it really is difficult to say, to foresee. I mean, things that happen uh, and the changes happen so rapidly. But as we speak, I mean, in the last years, uh, uh, the, if I am to single out one innovation in Africa that transformed the lives of uh, many and the economies of many countries uh, on the continent is mobile money. Uh, why? Because we know that most of our economies are uh, informal economies and uh, uh, traditional banking, not everyone is banked in, in formal banking. So what we're seeing uh, 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 through the use of mobile money is fantastic. You just mentioned that I am also a commissioner for energy. It is helping us with energy. Uh, we see solar panels implemented and the payment, which has always been an issue, done through mobile money, for instance. Gender empowerment has always been an issue on the continent. Now, uh, many in the formal sector are women, and the use of mobile money is empowering them financially as well, and empowering them as, as individuals as well. Uh, so that's in the past. Starting where we are now and in the coming years, I would say, of course, artificial intelligence. And if we're not um, quick enough uh, on the continent to prepare ourselves uh, for what's coming, uh, uh, we may have difficulties. But the encouraging news, I'm sure you heard His Excellency uh, the President uh, Ramaphosa in his opening speech mentioning that there's an African Commission headed and led by the, Af the South Africa to prepare Africa's response to the fourth revolution and I'm sure that uh, um, AI uh, is going to be prominent in this uh, report. So how in your opinion can governments provide a, a healthy climate for investment in uh, digital development? First of all, there's the word investment. Investment in any sector requires a healthy environment for investment. And a healthy uh, environment uh, for investment requires uh, a clear vision, requires a clear, uh, 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 a clear regulations and laws, uh, stability. I mean, that's what attracts uh, uh, generally an investment. 
and all our countries without exception on the continent are working on various reforms to, uh, uh, to make the economies healthier to, and, and more receptive and welcoming to investment. This is one. Now, when it comes to ICT particularly, um, uh, it, it's, it, it works also with an ecosystem. Uh, uh, ecosystem meaning that it's, it's in need of, because of its space and nature, it needs innovation, needs uh, uh, um, uh, uh, different kinds of risks. So what's the happy news is that across the continent we're also seeing the rolling out of incubators for technologies and uh, 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 startups and technologies. Africa has more than 300 of those incubators, which again is an attractive uh, element for investment in this sector. Our uh, educational programs across the continent are gradually also um, uh, introducing and promoting digital literacy, which is important, again, to create not just innovation, but now the users of this innovation, because at the end of the day, investment also is seeking profit. So by creating the need and 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 and, uh, um, and, the, and the literacy, you create the market for this investment to be attracted. Now, where is the role of the African Union comes in? Uh, we, we do know that on one of the biggest challenges for investment in general in Africa is that many of our economies on the continent, we have more than 50 countries, are small economies and may not be uh, um, as... Um, attractive to investment as we wish. So what we're trying to do is in integrating the continent and all these great initiatives that were led by the African Union is to create also an economy of scale that is in, in, in many ways attractive for investment because you're creating also a large base. Uh, uh, I am also in charge of the of, of free trade, uh, um, sorry, the, uh, the, the one market for the uh, transport, uh, the the air transport, uh, my colleague is in charge of the free trade area and uh, the other, the free movement of people. We try to create this momentum and all these activities that bring together uh, the continent in addition to a large number of infrastructure projects, energy, that the, the energy programs that we have in across the continent led by the African Union have also for, um, uh, for purpose also to, uh, to serve the ICT because ICT also needs energy. Uh, uh, and in creating these large markets and creating the infrastructure, both the physical infrastructure, but, but also the soft in terms of rules, regulations, harmonized uh, uh, policies across the continent, all of this creates the dynamics and the, the proper uh, uh, attraction for the investments. Let's talk about digital adoption. What measures do you think should be taken to encourage digital adoption, such as uh, local content, uh, government services, digital literacy, which we talked about a second ago? Uh, uh, of course, I mean, by, by having more local content, um, it serves our people in two ways. Uh, to, to be able to, to uh, adopt the, the technologies and also to contribute to the technologies. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that, uh, that across the continent, again, we have very good examples of this. It starts also with learning the algorithms, uh, learning the digital literacy. And as I said, I mean, we are all, and in all countries, you. you you will find it everywhere. Uh, uh, digital literacy is picking up. It needs everyone's uh, attention. It needs everyone's um, uh, contribution. Because at the end of the day, this is not a luxury that we are providing to our uh, citizens, I mean to Africans. Digital literacy is a must. Uh, uh, all the services with the whole world is moving now using the ICT and we cannot be and we, we are not being left uh, uh, behind and we should not. So it's, it is our role and duty to ensure digital literacy is happening and once it happens it also uh, uh, thanks to the large uh, uh, youth population that we're having across the continent you know they it, it's wonderful and it's really um, heartwarming to see how they pick up and excel uh, in, 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 in adopting, in inventing uh, uh, all these new apps and applications uh, of the new technology, including the local content. Just to give you an example, the Miss Deek, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a competition that we have in for girls uh, for the use of ICT. This year, the Miss Deek uh, created an app. She's from Niger. 
uh, and it's the, it's a, it's an app using Hausa, which is the local language, uh, to seek help and uh, in case of emergencies. Fantastic, fantastic. We need more of that. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. And in terms of the value of being here at ITU Telecom World, what's the the, the uh, value for you here? Um, First of all, I'm here wearing, uh, of course, the hat of the African Union. Another hat is being a commissioner of the Broadband Commission. And the third is my personal uh, humble person. Uh, as African Union, we've, we've uh, always attended the ITU. And we, we, we see it as a fantastic gathering, uh, bringing together, the, uh, the uh, of course, the prof professionals uh, from the industry, bringing together the, uh, the general public, uh, the UN organizations, the officials. Uh, so this, you know, it's, uh, it, it is important that, uh, that, that in such events, you know, we all talk to each other, the, judging by the number of, uh, of panels, the, the, the heated the discussions that we're having, it all I mean, this is how you get the new ideas. This is how we also identify opportunities and challenges. Now, my humble self, it's my first time uh, to attend uh, ITU World Telecom. I couldn't be happier um, for, I mean, for us as Africans, that this is the first time World Telecom is, uh, is being held in Africa. I'm extremely happy and proud. I mean, South Africa, is, has, uh, is making us all proud as Africans. Um, just I mean, the first two days, the open ceremony was amazing. The rest of the, uh, of the, uh, of the, I mean, since then, all the panels and the, and the events have been happening seamlessly, um, organization-wise. The, the welcome of uh, our people in, uh, in, in Africa is, you know, uh, the, the, the usual legendary welcome. So I'm very, very happy, both at the personal professional level, to be here in South Africa, to be here for uh, World Telecom. An event that I'm sure that people will be talking about for many years to come. Dr. Bouzé, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.